Hi, this is Diane Hinchcliffe, VP and Principal Analyst of the Constellation Research. And today we're going to talk about cross-cloud uh, and why it's central to cloud strategy today for most organizations. So first, let's talk about uh, how cross-cloud is different than the notion of multi-cloud, which is a more generic um, concept that is uh, taking the industry by storm because, you know, arguably every company is a multi-cloud organization today. Uh, but multi-cloud doesn't talk about what happens when you actually have these clouds situated in your organization, your commercial clouds, your private clouds, uh, and how do you make them work together? How do you manage them together? How do you modernize applications together? And so uh, cross-cloud articulates a vision for modernizing applications and managing cloud infrastructure across a multi-cloud environment, or multi-cloud could also be, and often is just talking about the silos of cloud that you have in your organization. And so the key is in regarding multiple clouds, uh, both commercial and private, as a single integrated operating unit. That's really the big differentiator. So if we talk about the different roles that are affected by cross-cloud, and I work with uh, CIOs and, and, and IT departments all the time uh, on their multi-cloud uh, strategies, um, the uh, CIO, of course, is the one with the biggest stake across uh, you know the, all the clouds that are inside an organization. That's commercial hyperscalers, that's SaaS services and their APIs, uh, that's private cloud um, that you have inside your organization. And they really care about time to value and complexity management, uh, the governance and security of all those clouds, the total cost of everything across that cloud estate. Uh, and they probably have the biggest stake in cross-cloud because it offers the biggest efficiencies, um, the, the most agility. Of course, the chief uh, information security officer is affected as well. Um, cross-cloud articulates a vision of saying, how do we create an integrated zero trust security environment? Uh, and so cross-cloud stands to benefit that role quite a bit. Uh, the cloud architect also um, has a significant role in uh, cross-cloud because you have to actually realize it, design for this and say, we're not just going to uh, have all these different clouds uh, separately inside our organization, but we're gonna, really going to have a strategy about how we're going to do service delivery and integration uh, and, and deliver uh, results to the business uh, quicker. Uh, and then IT operations, we have to actually, they, they have a role in making cross-cloud functional and, and they benefit from cross-cloud as well. Right? So consistency across clouds, uh, cross-cloud management, uh, cross-cloud operations in general. And so if we look at an overarching view of cross-cloud, we can see that of all the external applications that a company might be projecting out to its stakeholders, all the internal applications that its, uh, that its workers and contractors and partners use, um, that if we have a consistent cross-cloud infrastructure in between them, right, that enables the discovery and end-to-end -end cloud management, uh, observability, uh, a security blanket across everything, uh, an ability to understand cost components across all of them, uh, to integrate them consistently, uh, to orchestrate them and create solutions out of more than one cloud, uh, out of data across those different cloud silos, um, and make it all compliant. That's what cross-cloud does is give that single pane of management, um, the single control plane that that everybody really wants with all the different cloud capabilities and to work with all of the different uh, common cloud platforms and services and, and maybe whatever you have uniquely for your organization as well. And so I view cross cloud as, as really how to succeed with IT complexity today. That's, that's the big enemy. Um, and the complexity of multiple commercial clouds is already here. So a cross cloud gives us a vision and the capabilities to really deal with that. As a, as a top order uh, challenge with the right tools. And so managing multi-cloud as a series of silos is, is duplicative, it's uncoordinated and really isn't sustainable. And so cross-cloud gives us a perspective um, that unites cloud strategy, application development, ma uh, management, governance, operations across full cloud estate. Um, and, that, and gives that, I mean, that, that uh, highly sought after single control plan. And the good news is that there are proof points emerging. Um, the German stock exchange uh, has had significant success using a cloud, uh, cross cloud model uh, to, to cope with the, the different clouds that it has been using. And, and they, got, they achieved much better uh, service monitoring, faster troubleshooting of where, you know, where is the actual problems actually occurring because we're looking across our clouds, uh, a simplified IT management. And they really were able to get out of the weeds of operation because things were, were working better and they're able to troubleshoot problems and, and operate uh, more seamlessly and they could focus more on innovation. And that was one of the big value adds. They could actually move with agility and tackle new problems in a way they couldn't before. And so 
The notion of multi-cloud is necessary. It's what we have to start thinking about in general with cloud strategy, but it's insufficient for the modern enterprise is the argument. And so how do we produce software better? How do we do it more quickly? How do we do it with multiple mutually integrated clouds without adding new management burdens or, or introducing risks? And so the speeding delivery of modern applications uh, that draw resources from multiple clouds, we can simplify operations uh, and get that single point of control. Uh, we can maximize the value of using cloud by tapping into resources across them, and we can ensure one consistent vision and model for security, right? So cross cloud zero trust is, is a big model. And so, so how do we get there? How do we, how do we achieve cross cloud? Um, and so we see that, that the only practical way is to do it at the platform level within your cloud architecture. And vendors are, are strongly positioned because they've been building so many systems uh, to help with management and orchestration across all these clouds. And they have this, they have highly varied experience across many industries in building architectures. And so uh, cross cloud architectures, and they have the applications uh, capabilities now uh, from all that experience to, to provide to us ready to use. And they're hardened and matured into a robust set of capabilities. So cross cloud platforms are starting to emerge that have all of this, that gives us this ability that we can put on top of our clouds as an umbrella to really make them uh, manageable and governable. And so, you know, there's proof points here. Um, it, 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 we see cross cloud emerging broadly as a set of readily available commercial services now, except we just don't know what to ask for it. We're just still trying to develop the terminology around all of this. Uh, VMware has uh, cross cloud services uh, with the Carbon Black uh, Cloud in Tanzu, uh, and, and really a whole portfolio of cl cross cloud services. Uh, Red Hat. OpenShift has been offering something similar, sitting on top of the hyperscalers like Amazon, Azure, and uh, so on. Um, and Snowflake uh, is doing the same thing with data. Uh, and their cross-cloud data services really take the same notion uh, from a slightly different angle. And so uh, cross-cloud is now a critical organizing principle for cloud strategy uh, for virtually every IT organization now. Uh, IT does not have and it doesn't need the budget um, to take on the risk of managing multiple clouds in silos. That's hard work and, and not necessary. Uh, and so we can use cross cloud as a, as a model, um, uh, as a, a, a continuum across our organizations. So we can, we can adopt it, you know, a step at a time. You don't have to suddenly go all cross cloud, but you can, you can move in um, a cloud at a time or services or applications at a time. And so enlightened IT leaders are elevating their thinking they're using cross-cloud to better organize and position their cloud estates for maximum agility, versatility, lower costs, and ability to innovate more rapidly. Uh, and so it's a really, it's a breakthrough uh, in thinking that uh, can be used to mature um, our organizations around the way that we're using multi-cloud. Um, it's a, it's a, a more uh, practical way of saying about how do I take all these clouds and get the most value, um, the least amount of effort. Uh, and IT and businesses can come together and use it as a vital way forward to mature enterprise cloud capabilities uh, and make them more successful. Uh, and so I think cross cloud is uh, offers um, uh, not just a better model, but a practical set of platforms and tools and capabilities that allow us to get much more out of cloud to actually handle much more complexity because we're gonna have more applications and services, not less. Uh, and really deliver on the promise of cloud that we were always hoping for. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.